our garage is open right now, so I'll just give you a quick glimpse, not too detailing. Um, we did move in this past weekend, so today is September 11th, and uh, we moved in, you know, nine or ten, nine ten, so Saturday, Sunday, and this is kind of where we're at right now as far as our garage goes. We did get a washer and dryer. Let me come on in really quick here. We got a washer and dryer. Robert's doing laundry right now. Uh, we got it for a really good price. We got it on offer up. I would say it was a really good price. But yeah, so we got that. My mom and dad's old garage refrigerator is what we are using right now. And that's that. Everything else is just stuff from construction and from the rehab. And then also just, you know, stuff. Random stuff. Okay. And my elliptical, which we'll find a home for later on. Alrighty, let's go inside and see all the updates. Our front is still just like this. I haven't done too much yet. I did get this cute mat that is now almost completely ruined because of all the, you know, contractors coming in and out, but that is okay. I did get one for the fall time. And let's come in. Dun 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 dun. Okay, now, oh, hold up. I gotta close the door. Okay, now. First of all, can we talk about that wall opening? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, this is the currently the state of our dining room slash living room. That is our makeshift dining table right now that we are currently working with. Robert has almost fully painted all the walls. They are now a beige color. And if you're interested in knowing what color we got, we painted our walls Cascade Beige by Bear. Or, yeah, anyways. So that is the color we chose. And all the popcorn has been removed from the ceiling. It's been textured and painted. So that is good to go. Fireplace hasn't been touched yet. Robert is currently installing the mount for our TV. Verizon will be coming next week, so we'll have TV finally. Those are all of our cabinets for the kitchen. They just came today, so that's really nice. Once again, here is our beautiful wall opening. It makes such a difference. If you remember from our other video, our opening was right here. That was all wall. So it was just one little walkway where the fan is. Now we get to see the kitchen. It looks beautiful. And then we come into the kitchen and bam, look at this color I picked. And of course it's not gonna pick it up that well right now, especially because it's um, getting close to nighttime. Oh, here we go, it's focusing now. So the color is sea glass. And we went, I think, 15% lighter than the original color. So it looks like this because cabinets are gonna be here so it doesn't really have to be painted. So Robert painted all this, there it is. He still needs to get that wall going and then up there. It's just so high up, he's trying to figure out how to get up there and paint safely. So that is painted. This is still here currently. Um, we're not gonna be able to do my office just right away. We're spending so much money on everything so this is a little bit on the back burner, which is okay, it's fine. At least we can use it. And as far as the kitchen goes, we have all the flooring taken out. Robert took out all the tile. He took out all the stuff that's under the tile, like the grout or whatever, and then he grinded the floor because it has to be smooth for the laminate. This took him a long time and it was such a tedious project for him, but he did a great job. And then all, obviously all the cabinets were gutted. That's pretty much, you know, one of the first things that we did. And this pony wall got built, so the guy who's doing our cabinets decided to do this pony wall for us to extend it so I have this much more counter space, which is nice. My idea is to create something from this point to this point, and I know it's weird that the sliding glass is right here, but 
we're gonna change this out most likely and probably soon to French doors because I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this sliding glass door is tiny. We couldn't even fit our lawn chairs, those ones right there, through it easily. Like we struggled because it's like pretty small. So in order to really get space, I want to do French doors so it'll you know open up. If so, if that's the case, I think it won't really matter too much if the wall comes here. Anyways, I want to do like a little hided um, the trash can because right now I have no idea where we're going to put our trash can. So I'm thinking maybe we can from here to here do a little wall and then hide our trash can. So maybe there's like a little, you know, like those flaps that close. Maybe just like, you know, flaps and you can throw trash in there. So that'll be kind of nice because then the trash can's hidden and it won't be all ugly looking. Okay. And then the flooring is just, there was laminate under everything that we pulled up. So that's that. And then... Oh, the electrical for the kitchen has moved now to this side of the wall. So both this is the kitchen light and this is the dining room light. And that's pretty much where we're at in the kitchen. So I already told you guys about the living room. Now the hallway. So the hallway and oh my gosh, these floors are ridiculous. It's okay. Thank God we're not keeping them. Popcorn has been removed, it's been painted, and we did recessed lighting in the hallway. Also, we had an ADT thing here, and Robert ganked that out. We um, filled it in, uh, sanded it, did all that stuff, textured. So that's gone, so we just have our uh, thermometer, or what, thermometer? Yeah, thermostat, sorry. <laughs> um, which Robert's getting a new one, putting that in. We need to get a new doorbell, that's just that. And then, um, so yeah, the recessed lighting, it looks great. I love how clean and flush it looks. So again, that's just how it is all the way through. Oh, this cabinet got taken out as of right now. We need this bottom one pulled out because we are getting these to match the same cabinets as the ones in the kitchen. And then again, all this. Next is our masters. I have a bunch of boxes here. I'm gonna try to go through without like hurting myself. Okay. Masters has been the most neglected room out of this whole rehab, um, which is kind of sad because it's our master bedroom and it should be like the nicest, right? But our priority is kind of the front because that's where you're gonna spend most of your time, more guests are gonna see. In any case, popcorn has been removed, textured and painted, and that is all that's pretty much been done in this room. It looks like Robert went over some, you can't even see it on camera, but uh, went over all the edging for paint. So when he's ready to paint, um, Let's see if you can see it. Yeah, the camera's hardly picking it up, but there's like a color difference. So he's edged um, all the edging. It's just easier for him when he paints. But yes, that is pretty much all that has been done in the masters. Nothing in the ba uh, bathroom at all. And then that is it. So we just moved, like I said, on Saturday. And this is the baby's room. Bam! Look at that. Our whole life, me and Robert, 18, 18, what am I talking about? Eight years of being together, of things we've accumulated all in this room. So it is stuffed and I'm excited to unpack. But that is that room. And then our current living area is in our quote unquote guest room. Is Robert in here? I don't know. No, he's not. Okay. This is our guest room right now. Well, this is our guest room and we're living in it right now. So we are guests to our own home. Yes, I know. But we have our bed here. We have closet with some clothes. We got the TV. Uh, this is just one of our smaller TVs, but we put it up here anyways, because it's going to be in here in the guest room, no matter what. So guests have a TV. Our little light, I got this at like a fair, I think like the LA County Fair like three years ago, and I thought I was never going to use it. But right now, that's what we have because this room has no lights, it like actually hooked up. So that's what we're working with. And then we have a lamp right there that we're kind of using. And yeah, that's where we've been sleeping. So. We didn't remove popcorn here because it's just not a priority and we just need to get this house a little bit more livable faster, so. Okay, that is the full on update. I don't think anything else has been done at this point, but we have come a long way since the beginning and I'm really excited to see how it turns out. I really love my kitchen color. It's really exciting. And the wall color in the living room is turning out really good too. Okay. This was update number, I don't even know at this point, but 
this is another update and I will update more as we come along.